My family members and I recently opened a time capsule that we buried in the year 2000. And I'm currently working on a digital archive of everything that was in the capsule, just so that some of the family members that weren't there when we opened it can, can see everything and then just everyone kind of go through everything at their leisure and then we just have an archive of everything. And there are, you know, quite a few physical items, but there's just a lot of letters and then larger things like newspapers. And I don't quite have a scanner big enough to do a full newspaper and I don't want to like have to scan each paper twice or three times and piece it all together. And then even if I did, they are quite wrinkly. So I actually made a vacuum table. This will suck the uh, newspaper down. And I actually got the idea for that from Andy Mation, who is currently working on the world's largest flipbook, a flipbook of the uh, entire first Lord of the Rings movie, um, crowdsourced by like 1,600 people, and I am lucky enough to be part of it. But in a recent update for that project, he showed a small vacuum table that he used to uh, take pictures of each frame. But then you just put this like there, and look, it just sucks it down perfectly flat. Isn't that so cool? And then there's a little thing here and you just lift it off. And that video came out at the perfect time when I was coming to do this. I'm like, well, I just need to make a much bigger one for uh, for my newspapers. This is uh, 3D printed and uh, it, it works perfectly. Um, it didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to. I, you know, it, it's all kind of taped up to make it airtight. I was designing it as a much more modular system to where you could just kind of print out as many of these as you needed to make it as big as you needed. And the designs may be like 70% of the way there, but I kind of just used tape to get me the rest of the way there. And if it wasn't clear, the point of putting it on this is so I could just take a picture of it with a camera. And I have my camera way up there because I'm using a zoomed lens so that there's as little lens distortion um, as possible. And I plugged my shop vac into a uh, remote plug so I can just... And it just sucks the sheet right down. And I can just smooth out the wrinkles and I get a really nice level document that I can take a really clean picture of. gonna make doing this archival project go a lot better and I'm gonna get really good results. Yeah, just wanted to share this uh, little project I'm working on.